The Atlanta Hawks are at plus 4,000 to win the NBA championship, plus 2,000 to win the Eastern Conference, and plus 150 to win the Southeast Division. The Hawks took San Antonio's team basketball formula and ran with it all the way to the Eastern Conference Final. However, it is there that they ran into LeBron James and Cleveland, and they might be in the market for a star the next time one hits free agency. For now, reigning Coach of the Year Mike Budenholzer will have to continue imparting the lessons he learned from years under Spurs' Greg Popovich. The Hawks drafted Kelly Obre with the 15th pick, so they could participate in a three-way deal with New York and Washington, who would get Obre and send Jerry and Grant to the Knicks, who would move Tim Hardaway Jr. to the Hawks. Atlanta also received two future second round picks from the Wizards as they bolstered their depth. And they also got Tiago Splitter from San Antonio for the rights to Georgius Prentices. The Hawks did lock up Paul Millsap for three years, costing them $59 million. But they lost DeMar Carroll to Toronto. Atlanta was second in the league in assists behind the champions from Golden State, and they're a balanced squad with six players scoring at least 10 points per game. It's all about the ball movement until you get a good shot for the Hawks, who also bolstered their depth in the offseason with Hardaway Jr., and that was necessary because you're not likely to get another season like last year from 34-year-old Kyle Korver. The Atlanta Hawks lost their best wing defender in Carroll, who was injured in the playoff meeting with the Cavaliers, and it showed as Atlanta had no one who could disrupt James. And now the onus is on Tavo Cephalosha to provide that. However, he was injured too in an unfortunate incident with police, and he might have legal issues to deal with. But the Hawks' biggest problem is something that cannot be fixed right away. Al Holford and Paul Millsap are both very good players, as is Jeff T but they don't have a star that can put the team on his back when needed. That is what will keep the Hawks from getting over the hump, and they can start making some moves to free up cap space to bring in a free agent. Atlanta can win the Southeast, although Washington should be improved with a healthy Miami team that is scary good, featuring Chris Bosh, Goran Dragic, Luol Deng, Dwayne Wade, and Hassan Whiteside in the lineup. Even so, the Hawks should win the division as they're the soundest team on paper. However, they're not going to get past the Cavaliers if they can get back to the Eastern Conference Finals. And depending on their second round matchup, they might be a one and done team. The Hawks are a nice story and they're a good team, but they're not a great team unless Horford, Millsap, or Teague can take a step into stardom. They look like they're destined to be a first or second round team once again. Click over to BetDSI.com now to check out all the NBA odds on the board, including futures, props, and live in-progress betting during the games. And make a few wagers at BetDSI.com.